Yeah, John, I'm kind of curious, uh, you know, you were an assistant coach for so long. Uh, how is this defensive analyst role uh, going to be different for you, do you think? It's awesome. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy to do it and be around my son. Is it uh, nice not to have to go on the road recruiting and be able to just kind of focus on the football side of things? Uh, I, I, I'm just happy to have a, have a job and opportunity to be here. Uh, Coach Fuente and I go way back to his Oklahoma days, so it's uh, and and my son's here, so it's it's cool for me. So I'm not, I, I'm happy. You mentioned uh, being around Luke. Uh, I have to imagine that was tough, given your schedule, to be able to see all of his games. Uh, driving force and getting you here, I would say. Well, I think that uh, obviously I watch all his games. I get to watch him delayed or whatever, or if he's on TV after we got done playing. And, and, you know, I have two other sons, so, you know, I miss a lot of their games, too. So it's uh, it, it's exciting to, to have the opportunity just to be around him. Thank you. Yep. Mike. Yeah, I had talked to Coach Fuente about his time as a scout team quarterback, and he said you put him through the ringer. Any good stories about Fuente as, as, as your scout team quarterback? I'm not going to – I I was probably the – he was he was good for me. I, I, I always enjoyed him. Uh, I mean, he was an outstanding player, came out. You know, I only got to be there for one season, uh, and I know how he feels about it. But uh, uh, it was great for me to have the opportunity to coach at the University of Oklahoma. Uh, he, w- he was kind of the – he was the guy in, in the state of uh, – Oklahoma quarterback wise, Merv Johnson recruited him. He came in, and I always kind of took care of him on the scout team. I mean, he was he he did exactly what he was supposed to do, and he had a hell of an arm. And um, did you maintain? You know, how, what did you reconnect? I mean, just when he started recruiting your Luke, or I mean, did you guys kind of cross paths elsewhere? You know, he, he I never really got a chance to coach against him. I knew he was in coaching, and then obviously. Uh, you know, it was TCU's days, and he went to Memphis. And then when he took this job, and obviously my son coming out and so on and so forth. So then, then I got to see him again and, we, you know, got a chance to talk to him and so on. And, and obviously I'm, and my, I'm happy my son got the opportunity to come here and play. And do you – is it – with these roles, are they what you make of them? You know, at different schools, I think you were – last year did this with Cincinnati. Is it kind of a back and forth with Coach Fuente to kind of – or Justin Hamilton to kind of figure out what your responsibilities are? How do you kind of determine that, and how is the role shaped? I mean, the, the, the role is just basically you get to analyze and, and advise. So, you know, you get to watch a lot of tape, and, uh, you know, I, I just I just an hour ago sat down, you know, I get to see Bud, and so me and Bud are talking about different things. So just think, you know, as, as you go through what's good, what's bad, so on and so forth, and, I mean, it's it's their job and their and what they need to do to be successful, and you just kind of help them, you know. Hey, that that's probably not very good. This is really good, so on and so forth. And that, and and that says as an advisor, the anal, the analytic aspect of it to me, I I just watch film and know what I would do versus what they were doing. And how much film have you already watched of Virginia Tech? I mean, have you been able to dive in, probably moving and things like that, or well, I mean, still a work in progress? I, I saw every game from last year, and uh, obviously at both sides of the ball because I watched my kid. But uh, it's kind of, last year to me is kind of a wash in a lot of aspects because of the pandemic, and you know certain guys didn't get to play, and da 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 da, and you can't get too much into scheme, so. I'm I'm happy I get here be, before spring ball, so you get to really you know A B C and and get going in that direction. You've coached with a lot of a lot a lot of people. Um, what are your impressions of Justin Hamilton? You know, going into his second year as defensive coordinator, I'm curious what what your um, you know first impressions of him are. Well, I think Justin Justin's a tremendous young man that, that uh, very intelligent. You know, understands football, understands the game. Obviously, he played for Bud. You know, everybody in our room, I mean, it's funny to me, we are just talking about this earlier, there's there's three guys in that room, really four guys in that room, but three guys that are full-time coaches that that played here and they were captains here. So, you know, J.C. Price and, and Jack Tyler are also captains and played here. So that, that, that in itself should be, it might be history, I don't know, but uh, they're all great guys and, and, and they're all, they all work well, well together. I can't, you know... Uh, you know, you already talked to Turlink earlier today, and I'm not going to throw Schmitty out of it, but all these guys, you know, working together. So, you know, Justin's going to be fine. 
Thanks. Hey, Andy, did you have a follow-up? Yeah, John, you mentioned uh, Bud earlier. I know you've uh, been around the coaching range for a while. How well do you and Bud know each other? And how far back do you guys go back? We go back a long way, so but always been on opposite sides. And you know, Bud from his you know Murray State days all the way to to here, and then obviously being in the ACC with a few teams that I've coached at and had to coach against him. So you know, I've seen him on the road recruiting and been to clinics and so on and so forth. So it, it's it's pretty cool. So you know. You guys are both pretty well known for your aggressive defenses. Do you feel like-minded in, in that regard over the years? Do I feel like what? Like-minded? Do you kind of feel like you're the same philosophical uh, stuff with defense? Uh, I would say they were probably both stubborn, hard-headed, and want to go and do do things our way. Yeah, I would say that's true.